Good morning, everybody. This is Dylan here at Ellis Home and Garden in Longview. Hope everyone's having a fabulous day, and I hope you all had a great weekend. You know I did, honey. My forehead is crisp, and uh, I'm burned up because I laid in the pool all weekend, and I swear to God, I applied sunscreen three times, but I guess when you're in the water, um, it just reflects, and it didn't work because clearly I'm red as a lobster. I could work as at Red Lobster. So anyway, let me uh, refresh my page here and get my comments up. Um, guys, we're going to do a bow tying video today, and now that I think about it, you know, I thought I'm forgetting something. I forgot to put a title on this video, but I can do it at the end. But I'm going to show you guys how to select your ribbons, um, how to tie bows, hand tied bows, and using the Pro Bow. So two different options, two different ways that you guys can definitely do at home. Okay, so um, if you're watching this this morning, go ahead and drop down below where you're watching from. And any questions or comments that you guys have about the content or the material that we are displaying for you today, make sure you drop that down because we are here to answer your questions. And if we can't answer them, then we'll definitely make something up and hopefully you believe it. Let me scroll down. What'd you do this weekend, work? Yeah. Oh God. Well, I had to work Saturday, but it's okay because we got in lots of Christmas. And so um, usually when we get that first truckload full of Christmas, which we did last Friday, um, that means it's nonstop until it's done. And so all day long, they've been putting out new merchandise. So when we get done with this video, Dina's going to follow me. Hopefully we don't trip and fall. And um, we're going to show you a little bit of the new merchandise. Did you get to check any of it out when you walked in? Oh, I had to unload it. Okay. Like well, it. it's super cute, guys. And uh, so I can't wait for you to see that. Hi, Rebecca, Connie, uh, Clara. Let me uh, get these going. Hold on just a sec. Morning, Diana. Hi, Teresa. Okay. So, everything that we're using in the video today, from the Provo to the, the ribbon selection, it's all available on our website, guys. That website is ellishomeandgarden.com, so make sure you check that out. You go to Shop by Department, and you go to Ribbon, and it's all categorized under Seasonal. So, it's Seasonal, Christmas, Fall, Halloween, whatever kind of ribbon you're wanting to find every day, patriotic, it's all on there. It's all on sale, just like we do every day here at Ellis. So, you know, honey, we're always balling on a budget, and we're trying to make everything affordable to you, so make sure you check that out. Okay. So, hey Scott, hi Judy, hi Patricia. Guys, Scott Waterman's on here. I'm gonna go be speaking at his convention. It's in October the 19th and 20th. So Scott, if you will post the link down below, then hopefully everybody can click on that. So what that is, guys, he's having a convention. It's in Illinois, we're gonna be having a great time. There's lots of great speakers there. From Terry Marshall to Regina Sellers, Scott's going to be there, um, everybody. So make sure you uh, go check that out and sign up. We'd love to see you there and have a, a good time with us. And trust me, it's going to be a good time. Uh, okay, hi. Uh, Mary and Gladdy. And guys, if you have any questions and I miss them, Dina's going to pop on there and she's going to answer those questions, or tell me what the question is, just in case I miss them here at the front. Okay? Diana, I don't work Sundays. No, guys, I was not here Sunday either. Hi, Sandy, Rebecca, Judy, Andrea. Let me see if I can get this work done. When it pops up, somebody's watching, it's in the blue and I can't see it. So if somebody comes on, I can't see who's watching. Oh, okay. Hi, Kim and Dottie and Debbie, but you can see comments, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so the first thing, guys, when we start with bows and ribbon tying, I've had lots of customers come in and ask me these questions, and I've had a lot of requests online through the direct messenger. So I know we've done bows several times, and this is the last bow video we're going to do for a while. But I just wanted to take one more opportunity and show you how to do hand tie bows, which we hadn't done those in a while. Um, from a single ribbon to four ribbons and I'm also going to show you how to use the Pro Bow so you're going to have two different options that you can definitely use at home because I don't use the Pro Bow for everything sometimes when I'm just doing like a three loop bow I'll do it in my hand and a lot of people ask how you do that so I'm going to be demonstrating uh, that for you today as well but also I have the wreath behind me just to give you a glimpse of how you can incorporate bows made on the Pro Bow onto a wreath and if you missed this demonstration guys go to our video tab on our Facebook page a few weeks back and you'll find this video from start to finish, I showed you how to make this beautiful fall uh, grapevine wreath. It's a 24 inch form, um, and I use the Provo to incorporate lots of different colorful ribbons for the fall season. So make sure you check that out. Mary Ritchie from Mount Sterling, Kentucky. My question is How long does it take to learn how to make a great bow with the Provo? I just can't seem to get it. Hi, was her name Mary? Mary. Hey, Mary. Hope you're having a good day, girl. Um, it doesn't take long at all. Honestly, when Regina came here to the store in Longview, um, you know, I told her when she got here, I don't want to touch it because I want to do it on the video so that you guys see and you can go back and watch. We had a freaking blast. Uh, you can go back and watch that I had not touched it before. I wanted to do it uh, blinded just as if you were getting it at your house and you opened it up out of the box. That's how I wanted to do it. So it's very easy you know just start off with something simple like a one ribbon bow and then once you get your technique down and the technique that you have to use on this pro bow then you can definitely incorporate lots of different ribbons and you can achieve um, a larger bow 
such as this one right here that we put on this fall wreath. Okay. The fluff box can only be ordered. Right, the fluff box, the, so the Pro by the Hand guys right here is available on our website at ellishumangarden.com. But the fluff box, and what that is, if you've never heard of it before, to fluff the bows out. So to fluff the bow out to get a real pretty bow, it's a box like this. And you can buy this on Regina's website, which is probothehand.com. Okay, so let's talk about ribbon selection, okay? Everyone always comes in. That's a big question, a big topic of discussion. Hi, Kim, Melissa, Katie, Dottie. A big topic of discussion is how to select ribbons. They can make the bows, okay, that's no problem. But they have a hard time selecting ribbons, which is fine. Uh, sometimes I do too. So, uh, let's just use this for an example, okay? I try, and when I do a bow, I think of a theme in my head. So if I'm doing... Um, Christmas bow and it's like a candy cane or whimsical look. This right here is what comes to mind, these selections. If I'm doing Halloween, okay, then this selection comes to mind, okay? And again, all these are available online at ellishumandgarden.com. So, um, let's go back to the Christmas. So, when you think, say your, your tree was peppermint, okay? Peppermint is red and uh, white and you can mix lots of different things with that. Silver, you can mix lime green, you can mix emerald green. And so pick one ribbon out of the whole uh, selection of ribbon you have to choose from that is your favorite. And usually that's a pattern because you can always go back and throw in a solid to break up those patterns, but pick that one ribbon that you really like. So the one ribbon that I picked when I saw these selections was this one right here. It's a one and a half inch snowflake ribbon. It's got a silver edge on it and it's five bucks, okay, for 10 yards. So I saw this and I thought that is so cute. So then I took that one ribbon that was my favorite and I went and I started adding things to it to make a pair that I'm going to make my bow out of, such as this right here, okay? So the next one I added, or I saw, was this candy cane ribbon, okay? It's still whimsical, it still matches your peppermint look. It's got the peppermint striped candy cane, the holly, some green, which I like because it's bright and it breaks it up. So I have these two, but like I always say, honey, you don't want too many patterns. You'll be looking like you're drunk or something, it's just too much. So go back and find some solids to incorporate and break this up. I added um, some more green, so emerald green. You see that right there? and then another solid red. So in this particular bow, I'm gonna use four ribbons and I can just alternate them back and forth and I have um, two solids and two patterns, okay? So hopefully that helps you out. For another example, real quick, um, say you have a rustic theme or a lodge theme, um, which is really popular this year. The plaid is gonna be like, oh my God, wait till you see some of the merchandise we got in. It's really cute and I just feel like it's gonna be the best seller. So hopefully it is, but anyway, um, Okay, so I found a plaid ribbon that I like. Okay, so I saw this on the shelf, and then I went to everything else, and I started to pair with it. So, I found a sheer that was kind of plaid, too, so you can see up close the detail on it. And I put that with it. Just brightens it up a little bit. And then I found a burlap, which matches this burlap theme, and it's got a little bit of gold poinsettias. And then, of course, another solid, um, like metallic, almost red. So, this is what I picked for this pair here. Okay, so hopefully that helps you on ribbon selection. And if it doesn't, um, and if you need more help or just some more guidance, guys, go ahead and send us a direct message um, to our direct messenger on Facebook. And I go back and I read all those questions and I definitely respond to them the best that I can and give you all the knowledge that I can to make your life easier when, you know, selecting ribbons or whatever it may be. Uh, hi, Paula and Lindy and Gladdy and Amy. Amy, I'm glad you're here too, girl. And if you guys will do me a big favor and share this video, what that does is it invites more um, new customers and new um, fans and friends into our circle here at Ellis. And I love to interact and meet and greet with new people. And it's working because every time we get on here, Dina always says that we have more and more um, viewers. Uh, not viewers. First-time viewers, yeah. More first-time viewers. So I'm really thankful for that. Have you found out anything about the international shipping? I have not, guys. We had an online meeting last week, and um, we that was a topic that was brought up. But, you know, at this point, we're kind of, our hands are tied because um, we have to ship everything by weight, and it's even more when you go overseas. Um, so, you know, as soon as we have some information that comes up about that or something new, um, I'll definitely be the first one to let you know because I definitely want these products to be available to anyone, not just here in Longview, Texas, but all the way in um, Africa or Hawaii or wherever you live, honey. We want the ribbon to come to you. So... As soon as we find something out, I'll let you know. Okay, so let's start with something simple, okay? this We're gonna start with a hand-tied bow, and I'm just gonna use this particular red ribbon just because I pulled it off the top. And all of this ribbon that we're using today, guys, it's all available online. Okay, so uh, when I do 
fall wreaths or when I do, uh, not even fall, any wreath, whether it's Christmas, fall, or um, Halloween, and I have a lot of foliage in there and I just wanna put a touch of ribbon, I usually do a three loop bow, okay? So, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna kinda turn this way so Dina can get from the direction as if you were actually tying this with your hands, okay? First thing you wanna do is, um, I like to dovetail my ends, you don't have to do that, it just looks a little bit cleaner, don't, don't uh, snip your finger off, we don't condone violence here at Ellis, okay? Now, first thing you wanna determine when doing a hand tie bow is how long you want your tail, okay? If you're gonna be putting this on, um, say you're making a hair bow, honey, you don't want the tail hanging down like this because that is too long, okay? So you want to do it shorter. Um, so when I do just a normal uh, three loop bow like I'm gonna be using today, I usually do about a six to seven inch tail, okay? I just eyeball it, you can definitely measure it, but um, you know, honey, all the years in Sylvan, that didn't help me, so if that didn't help me then, then go help me now. So I'm just eyeballing this the best that I can. So of course, the first thing you're gonna do is gather the ribbon up in your hand, and you can see I have it on the front side. You want the ribbon to be on your side, the front face of the ribbon, okay? So the first loop I'm gonna make, of course, that's probably gonna be a foot long, 12 inches, okay? The bigger the loop, okay, the bigger the bow is gonna be. So I'm gonna gather that first loop up just like that. Now, to make your next loop, this is where everyone gets confused, you have to twist the ribbon. The reason you twist the ribbon is because if you don't, you'll be on the wrong side of it and it won't, the shiny side won't be up, okay? So twist your ribbon right there and then you're gonna go underneath and make your next bow, or your next, next loop, I mean, okay? And what I do actually is I pull these up like this to make sure they're even. Okay, then I'm gonna twist again, make my next loop. Twist again, and I'm done with my three loop bow. So when I do these, I like to use pop cleaners. It's just a better grip on it, guys. So put that pop cleaner right where your fingers were and uh, twist that off, just like you're twisting that stale bread that your kids left open, you know, make sure you twist it off and then get your scissors and go back and cut your tail off, okay? So, we have a three loop bow. Now you guys are probably looking at this going, God, that is ugly. Well, it's not meant to be like on top of a package because it is sparse, but it's sparse for a reason. Um, I like to take this and just fluff it out so I have three loops and two tails just like this, and I like to place it, for example, onto a grapevine and then go back and add in all the gaps with foliage or filler or florals of some kind. And I do that a lot. Or say you do a beautiful arrangement and it just needs something else, it needs a pop of color. That's a good way to uh, make use of all of your ribbon is do a three loop bow maybe with three different ribbons and you can actually put this on a pick, stick it in your arrangement just like this. I do it a lot of time at Christmas, just like this. And it's great. Another great thing that these three loop bows are for is filler on your uh, garlands, okay? We did some mantle garlands last year um, at Christmas and in fall, you can go back and check those out, even Mardi Gras. And I showed you guys how to do uh, these three loop or two loop bows um, to fill out your garland. And what you do is you do about six of these or eight of these, whatever the length of your garland is. And you go back and you secure them into your garland. Um, and that creates a great foundation and a base for anything else that you want to add, whether it's florals, poinsettias, uh, beads. But don't get crazy with the beads, honey. I've seen some accidents. Okay, so be careful with the beads. This is not Mardi Gras. This is Christmas. You can be gaudy, but still classy. So... Y'all be careful. Gwen is asking, does the Probo work to aid textured materials like jute or raffia? Jute, what is jute, like burlap? I think so, yes. Um, I've used burlap on here several times, and of course burlap, the texture is a little bit thicker, so you have to really kind of squeeze that together to get a perfect twist, but it works perfect. Raffia, that's that stuff that looks like straw, right? Um, I have not used that on here. I'm sure you could possibly make it work. Um, I'll try that out behind the scenes. So if it is a mess, you guys don't see, but I'll try it out and see what we can do. Letitia says, um, heading your way. We'll be there between 1130 and 12. Can't wait. Who is this? Letitia. Oh, hey girl. I can't wait to see you either. Okay. So, um, yeah. So anyway, three lead bows. Great. So for example, let me just draw you a picture and make it color here. Okay. We got a garland. Say it's six foot long. Take these three lead bows and you know, run the pot cleaners down and put them in your garland in the base, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, throughout your garland. Pull your, rib, your uh, loops apart. That is how you get that. When you see garlands all the time, this beautiful full garlands and there's ribbon incorporated, and you're like, how in the world did they do that? This is how, put them on first, go back and add your stuff. Always add your ribbon first on your Christmas garlands because um, it's easier to fill in versus have a, a done garland and then go back and try and weave all these loops in there. It's a nightmare, so don't do that. 
Gladi, you can go back and watch the videos. Just hit the video tab and you can watch all the videos. Yes. Okay, so let's do another bow, but this time I'm gonna use two different ribbons, okay? And I'm gonna use these two right here. The reason I selected these again, because I thought of a theme that I wanted to use. I thought of snowman, okay? And snowman go great with whimsical, with red and white, with peppermint, with candy cane. So you can really mix and match these. And then I found this great little candy cane stripe with the little dots on it. It's available on our website also. And I'm gonna mix that with it and just alternate until I get the fullest bow that I want, okay? So let me remove those pins. And we're gonna start out the same exact way. I usually drop my ribbon on the floor um, just because if it's on the table, it gets tangled up and stuff, and I don't have time for that, okay? So just drop it on the floor. It will make your life easier, I promise, okay? Hi, Donna and uh, Linda. Okay. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay, so we're going to start with our tail again, and we're going to go ahead and do those three loops again. So make your loop. You're going to twist. Just like that. And the reason, again, if you, do, if you don't twist, the right side of your ribbon won't be on there. So twist it. Make your next loop. Loop again. So we have three, so I'm gonna leave it there. So take those scissors, and guys, get some sharp scissors. Don't be cheap, okay? Because they are dull, and they won't cut this stuff, and it, it's really aggravating, because I've done it. Y'all probably seen me on the video before, and I have to say a few words under my breath. Mm-hmm. You have to saw, if you have to saw at it to cut it, time for some new scissors. Okay, so we're gonna trim that off. So now we have the three loops. Keep your hand here and just go behind it with your next ribbon of your choice, which is gonna be the snowman. Okay, so I'm gonna go behind it. I left a little tail. Make my next um, loop. And I'm gonna go behind here and keep adding loops. And I'm gonna do four of the snowman ribbon Okay. Teresa, he uses that when he uses the Pro Bow. When he does the hand ones, he just drops it. Yes, when I do hand tie bows, I just drop it on the floor. But I'm gonna show you on the Pro Bow in a minute how we do that. Okay, so now I have four loops. I'm gonna go back and I'm going to cut off this ribbon. That poor snowman, I just cut his throat. It's only gonna hurt for a second. <laughs> okay, so now we have three plus four is seven. Look, all that years of tutoring, it paid off. So we have seven loops. So now we're gonna go back with that um, stripe again and go behind it. I'm gonna do two more loops. Is there a better brand of scissors in your opinion or? Sharp ones. <laughs> That's the only brand I know, girl. I guess some sharp scissors. No, uh, there's really not. I just get one pair of scissors and I designate it for ribbon and for bows. So don't use the same pair of scissors. You're you're cutting um, your ribbon with um, to open the bag of chips in your pantry because it's going to dull them out. And don't have your, your kids doing arts and crafts with them because it will dull them out. Okay, turn that off. So this is what we've got so Morgan's far, guys. On. Oh, hey, Morgan, how you doing? We've got, uh, this is where we're at so far. So now let's go back with the snowman ribbon one more time and do two more loops behind here, guys, okay? One there. And again, you pinch and twist. Okay, I'm gonna trim that off again. And this is where we're at. So now I'm gonna take a pipe cleaner, you can use wire, of course, too. And you're gonna put the middle of this pipe cleaner right here where your thumb is. So can you guys see that? And that is what's gonna hold this bow together. Okay, now I'm gonna twist, twist it off really tight. <clears throat> and this is what you have. And I'm gonna show you in a minute, you know, I just eyeballed this, but this is basically what it looks like on top of your Probo also, as you do that as well. Hi, Adrian and Michaela and Heidi and Pamela. Hope you guys are having a good morning also. Okay, so I just did this, I tied it in my hands. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna start at the back and I'm going to just alternate my loops, okay? Alternate my loops throughout the bow. Just like that. And I only use two different ribbons in this bow. But you can use definitely as many as you want. A 
Okay, so this is what we get. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm going to just dovetail these ends really quickly. Again, what that does is it just cleans up the ribbon. It gives it that finished final look that you definitely want to go for. Okay. And you don't have to, if you don't have time to dovetail or you don't want to do that, you can definitely just angle them, kind of like this one is here, and uh, it makes it look better than not doing anything at all. This portion I'm in, I just keep snipping their head off. Who knew I could be a surgeon? Okay. The brains are going to leak out. I know, all over and glitter. Okay guys, so that is just a hand tie bow I made really quickly. It's something anyone can do. I make a lot of these particular bows for Christmas trees. So when you have your Christmas tree and it's blank, first you wanna fluff it out, okay? Oh Jesus. One time I saw a tree guys and someone sent it and they said, you know, I've told you this before. They said, you know, I just don't know what's wrong with my tree. It's missing something. And I said, well, okay, well I'll come over there and look. Honey, I had to get me a shot of vodka because the tree was not fluffed and there was gaps in it and holes in it. You could have literally drove a Hummer up through the, the branches at the bottom. So. Make sure you fluff it out first. Again, that gives you a great foundation to start and begin and then go from there. Okay, so then once your tree is fluffed, you have to uh, make some bows like this and I set them up in the branches and I, of course, secure them and then that gives me a great foundation and I put those all the way through the tree just like I would with the garland and then I can start adding other materials, okay? So is everyone having a good time so far? If you are, give me a thumbs up and let me know. I see some laughing faces. I'm getting on a roll, guys. I've gotta tell y'all about my Olive Garden experience. It was a double S, and y'all know what that means. I'll have to show you, in I mean, I'll have to tell you in just a minute. So, Catherine, he's doing hand bows, and he's gonna make some bows with the Pro Bow. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Teresa. Okay, hi, Diana. Is Jackie on? I haven't seen Jackie's name. I haven't name. seen Jackie. Well, Jackie, if you ain't on, anyway. Hey, girl. But of course, I can't see, because it's in that blue, and I can't see it. I know, this is freaking phone. This, these, these iPhones just get crazier every day. Hey, Tammy. Okay. Yes, somebody asked, I just went so fast I couldn't see their name. Someone asked if all these ribbons were wired. Carmen. Definitely. Hey, Carmen. Um, I love that name, Carmen. Anyway, if you uh, don't use wired ribbon, they're going to be limp. And we all know that ain't good. So you definitely want to use um, wired ribbon because they stand up and they, they just have a better shape. You really cannot tie a good bow that this big with unwired ribbon. It will just be floppy like my fat roll. Okay, so you just don't want to do that. I almost said something else. So... Anyway, this is that. So now uh, we're gonna go back and we're gonna tie another bow, guys. And I'm gonna, this is the third technique I'm gonna show you on how to do hand-tied bows. But before, you know, I used two different ribbons here and I alternated them four times, but you can definitely just do four different ribbons and just do them once and just make a stack bow, which is basically what we're gonna do on the Pro Bow. I will alternate a few times, but I'm gonna use more than this, okay? So, here's the, the two that we've done so far. We've done this one. And this one, this looks dead and puny compared to this one, but like I said, I use this for different things than I would this one. So, next, I'm gonna show you using, what should we use? Let's use uh, some, hmm, let's use some Halloween, okay? These are some of my favorite Halloween ribbons. They're available on our website, ellishomeandgarden.com. There's spiders and there's candy corn, so they're super fun. I'm hungry now, because I saw that. <laughs> Oh, Heidi, you don't want to hear this story. This is about the Olive Garden. After I do this bow, guys, I'll do a little intermission and we'll talk about the Olive Garden and then I'm going to show you how to do the Pro Bow. Okay, so this is a quick way you can definitely tie a full bow um, by your hand, okay, hand tied. Um, instead of doing one at a time, we're going to do both at a time, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just dovetail these ends before we begin. So now I'm gonna drop them both on the floor, and you're probably cringing, and I'm not stepping all of the ribbons. So Mary Hannesy says we are out of the candy corn ribbon on the website. Oh, hey Mary, she's from the corporate okay. from the warehouse. Uh, okay, guys, we're out of the candy corn. I'm so sorry. Um, that's my bad. Um, so just overlook that. But we're going to uh, all the Christmas ribbon is available. Okay, so. This particular bow, I'm gonna put both ribbons together. You can do this with up to three at a time, but it gets harder the more ribbons you use on this technique because it gets harder to twist and pinch, and you get a big, like, 
bundle under your finger and it's just hard. It's hard on your hands. That's why this Probo is so, uh, it comes in such handy because you can definitely get the same effect, but it's not hurting your hands because you can use it on the board. Okay. Can they order online and pick up in a store? I don't think so, guys. This ain't Walmart. <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding. But no, you have to, uh, everything we have online is at a certain location, guys. So you have to, we have to ship it to your, your home. Okay. But if you come in the store, guys, I can definitely help you uh, locate certain items that you're looking for and make your life easier. I'll definitely do that the best that I can. Okay, so just like on the bow before, make sure you determine how long you want your tails. I'm going to go ahead and do these about maybe 12 inches long, okay? Because it's going to be a larger bow. So you're going to pinch them together, and you're going to use the same techniques you're just having two ribbons, okay? So we're going to go ahead and pinch those off and then twist. So you can see from the side view, I have both ribbons in there. Okay, so now we're going to make our next loop, just like that. Before I twist, I always pull them up and make sure they're even. Twist those again. Okay, and I'm just going to go back and forth like this, and I'm going to do it about four times. What that does is it's going to give you like eight loops on your bow, okay? Not eight loops. Hold on. 16 loops, okay? Ooh, that Sylvan's coming back in handy, honey. Y'all need to get me some a leapfrog pad or something. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do, but we're going to have four loops on each side as far as what we're doing, but there's actually eight because your ribbon is doubled up. And we have four pages of Christmas ribbon, guys, that Rebecca has uploaded to the website. They're all 50% off and 10 yard bolts. So you get a lot of usage out of um, that one bolt. And they're 50% off, so most of them I believe are like 650. So it's a really great price and really great savings. So now that we've done that guys, we're gonna grab us a pipe cleaner. You can use any color you want because at the end of the day, you don't really see the pipe cleaner. So I'm just using brown. Twist that off. And then we're going to Cut our tails off. I'm gonna go back and dovetail them really quick. Okay, so this is where we're at with this bow, guys. So it looks just like the other one before. When we get done with the Pro Bow, that's gonna basically look like it is too. So this, this uh, Pro Bow is great because you get the same effect, but everything is measured and perfect, and it takes the stress off your hands. So I can't wait to show you this as well okay so this is where we're at with this so what we're going to do with this is just alternate our ribbons guys so start here at the middle okay if you've got um, orange on the right then on the next loop that you do pull the orange to the left okay and i'm just going to alternate that through just like this So if you guys have used one of these techniques before, uh, give me a thumbs up and let me know that you've used one of the three techniques that I have showed you. Okay, you see how easy that was? I just pulled it apart, just like an Oreo. You know, you pull it apart, eat the middle. So we just pull those loops apart. Now I'm gonna go back like this and I'm gonna fluff them. And I'm holding the bow by the base back here, okay? I hear Kenny G playing, guys. I just wanna go out there and just uh, do the jazz dance. Oh no, Linda, I don't design. <laughs> she could though, guys. She's seen all this up close and firsthand. Okay, so then there is that bow right there. So here, I'm gonna lay it right here so you can get all three that we've done. We started off, guys, with just a simple hand-tied three-loop bow. Now, if you've never tied bows before and you're needing something to practice your technique and not have not waste a bunch of ribbon, just do a bunch of these guys. Use different tech, different types of ribbon, whether it's burlap, whether it's sheer, solids, um, you know, one and a half inch, two and a half inch, four inch, and get the technique down. And then once you have your technique, um, take that technique and apply it to all of these different types of hand tied bows that I've showed you. And then you'll come up with this one that we did using two ribbons. And then we use this one as well, but we use the technique where I put both of the ribbons together. So those are those three right there. Hi, Melody and Beverly. I love you, girl. Thank you so much for watching. Okay. Oh, thank you, Melody. So now, let's see. 
gonna gather this ribbon back up so I don't step all over it. You know, someone made a comment one day that I was stepping all over the ribbon. Well, you know, it just cranks back up, you know. <laughs> I've done a lot of things around here that I'm just like, oh Lord. Hi, Melody and Peggy. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up and now we're gonna begin working on the Probo, guys. Okay. Okay, so again, all of these products, I mean all of these, the ribbon selection is available online. We're actually using it. So I'm gonna give you guys a first hand look. So I'm gonna have you come over here and show you so we can locate it. Once you pull up our website, guys, this is what it looks like. It's got my face on the front, mm -hmm, forehead and everything. So this is ellishomeandgarden.com. You go up here to shop by department in the left-hand corner, and everything is categorized by department and by season. So we're gonna scroll all the way down here to ribbon and mesh, seasonal ribbon, and then we have Christmas ribbon right here, which most of the ribbon that I'm using now is Christmas. And you see there's four pages full of patterns, sizes, and everything. Looks like there's more than that because it looks like there's an arrow on it. Yeah, she's been busy uploading, so there's one of the snowflakes you saw. So that's how you locate all of that ribbon on our website. And there's mesh on there also for all of you uh, awesome wreath makers and wreath creators and designers guys that use mesh and work forms. We have work forms on there, they're five bucks. We have mesh on there, the 21 inch, 10 inch, um, in all seasons, every day, seasonal, um, fall, Christmas. So check that out also. So I'm gonna move these out of the way so we can move on to the Probo demonstration. What's my talent, Dylan? Your talent? Yeah, Linda's asking what's my talent then besides the camera. Jana can sing. I haven't heard her sing, guys, but she can sing. She told me that she went to Nashville for a while and she was working to uh, see what she could do to pursue her singing. So when you said that was it? Yeah. And she can read somebody just like me. So that's another talent, you know, read. Sandra, they're not. Everybody is freaking out over those trucks that I showed. They're not available yet, <clears throat> but they will be. Um, as soon as we get them in at the warehouse. I so, like those little trucks. I know, aren't they cute? So for this um, demonstration, we're gonna be using these four different types of ribbons. So we've got the plaid, the um, poinsettia down here, and two solids. One's kinda got like a little plaid pattern, it's a sheer, and then we have a solid metallic red that we're gonna put on there also. So while I, I add these to my spool holder, which you get the Probo and the spool holder for $39.99, they're available on our website as well. They're under shop by department, floral and then floral miscellaneous where is well, the probo found it's under um shop by department just where we went at the beginning and then floral and then there's a tab that says floral miscellaneous and that's where you find the probo if you have a problem finding it guys send me a message and i'll send you the link as soon as we get done with the video okay so while i unwrap this let's talk about olive garden so me and josh lay in the pool um it's been a couple weeks ago and i can't believe i forgot to tell you all this we laid in the pool all day, we had a couple drinks, so, you know, we were ready, we were feeling good, ready to dip and do it, so we were starving, and so I took Josh to Walmart and drug him through Walmart, y'all should have seen that, but I got him through Walmart, um, and then I called in my food to, to um, I was just in one of those moods, you know, he didn't want Olive Garden, but I didn't really care, so I called in me some food from Olive Garden, we were just gonna go by and pick it up, and then we'd find him something on the way, so we, uh, my mom called, and she said she was hungry, and so she, I was like, well, why don't we just all go to Olive Garden? So they're like, okay. So we walk in the door in Olive Garden, no one's in there, and it's just me and Josh, my mom. We walk to the counter and swear, I'm not exaggerating, there's three hostess standing at the desk like this. Their backs are to us. We stood there for a good three minutes. No one said anything. I was starting to boil, you know, and fume up. And so they were looking at a $2 bill. You ain't ever seen a $2 bill before, honey? Get on Google. So anyway, we were standing there, <clears throat> finally, uh, one of them turns around and says, oh, welcome to Olive Garden. I'm surprised she didn't say welcome to Target because she probably didn't know where she worked. So she set us down and we got this waitress that was, you know, you sit down at restaurants sometimes and you just look at people and you're like, this is not going to be a good day or a good experience. This is how we felt as soon as we sat down with, um, she looked like Uncle Buck. So anyway, we sit, stand, we sit down and she takes our order and we to I told her first thing, I said, look, I already called my order in at the bar, so it's probably over there. It's chicken Alfredo. So I said, when you bring our food out, just bring mine from the bar and I'll just eat that because I already called it in. I don't want you to go to any more trouble. So I'm trying to be nice, I'm trying to be good. So we asked for salad and I asked for extra dressing. Well, she comes by 
and um, like three or four times, and she didn't bring me my extra dressing. So I was very nice, and I said, you know, hey girl, when you get a chance, will you please bring me by the extra dressing? I said, you know, my mouth is parched. I need some dressing for this dry salad. And so what does she do? She brings me a bowl of dressing to the top, like a cereal bowl. That's what it kind of looked like. That was her being a smart mouth, okay? Because I don't need a bowl of dressing. I just need a little drop. So I didn't use it at all because I was so pissed. So I just left the dressing sitting on the table. A bowl, okay? You really could have stuck some Cheerios in there and had cereal. So then um, my mom says, you know, I would like this margarita on the menu, but, you know, does it come in on the rocks because I don't want it frozen? I don't know. That's what she said. I don't know. So she says, I'm going to have to go find out. So 30 minutes goes by. Guys, we've been in there for 45 minutes. Two tables next to us have already got their food and left. I called mine in early, so it should be done. So um, we're sitting at the table, and my mom, the lady comes up to my mom and says, Did you check on that margarita? Because we've been here 45 minutes, and you know, if our food's about to come, I don't want to get it anymore. And uh, the lady says, um, I am doing the best that I can. Well, if you don't know Tracy, which is my mom, you don't want to do that to her. So we're all fuming now. It takes a lot for Josh to get upset at a restaurant, but you know, he was, I could tell. An hour and a half goes by. We asked to speak to the manager. Three people now have got their food and got up. We asked to speak to the manager. Excuse me. She told us she was on her way. She never showed up. So then Josh got a hold of somebody and said, you know, I need to speak to your manager now. Guess who the manager was? The person who was ignoring us at the front door. And she said, I'm so sorry you've had this experience. I said, well, I, oh, God help us. thought it was falling. Anyway, Jesus help me. So anyway, um, you know, the waiter came up and I said, I just want you to know, ma'am, you're part of our bad experience because you sat there with three employees and you uh, turned your back to us and didn't even speak to us at the door. And I said, so we're going to need some compensation for this. You know, I need my food for free. I'm so mad that we, we didn't even eat. We got our food. Um, my mom got the wrong food. It was sitting in a thing of grease this big. You could have threw that on a slip and slide and slid down the hill. It was so greasy. And so we got our food. We put it in a go box. We didn't even eat there and we got it for free. Don't ever go there. So I'm down with Cheddar's. I'm down with Olive Garden. I'm boycotting all these restaurants. Before long, all I'm going to be able to go to is Whataburger or Chick-fil-A because I just can't. <laughs> but is that not irritating? I mean, I would just, yeah. I'm, I'm irritated. Hi, Deandra. How are you? And Kelly? Oh, Kelly, honey, I'll be praying for you. She's at the dentist. Y'all know I have a, I'm scared to death of the dentist. I'd rather get my leg cut off and sew back on than go to the dentist. It's about something about that drill and the noise. Mm -mm. Just can't do it. Help me, Jesus. Jesus is asking, why do you use different widths of ribbon? I use different widths because I like the smaller on the top of the bow. It, to me, it just you get a better shape out of it, and I like to just break it up. Same thing with patterns and solids. I like to put both of those together to break up the pattern, so why not do that with the sizes? I just like the way it looks as a preference for me. You definitely don't have to use it. If you want to use all one size, whether it's, most of it's two and a half inch like this, you can definitely do that and get the same effect. Um, I just think the bow looks more, what's the right word, symmetric, I guess, with the smaller choice of ribbon. Okay, so on the Pro Bow, guys, there is one, two, three, four, five rows, okay? There's B, C, D, E, and F, okay? And so you can, uh, the, the farther you put your dowels out, you can uh, make it the larger the bow, okay? So if you put them out here all the way on row F, that's gonna make a huge bow like you put on the Christmas tree topper. So we're gonna work on row D today, which makes this size bow right here that's in this wreath. And again, remember, I'm using Christmas ribbon, but you can definitely apply this bow with your florals. And on this particular wreath that I demonstrated a couple weeks ago, I used two Pro Bow bows. Okay, I put them on the top and on the bottom, kind of off-centered. And then I added a lot of foliage and filler underneath it to give it that backdrop and to finish your wreath out. This is a, a definitely an easy design that anyone can do at their home. Okay, so we're going to start out with this metallic. And guys, hey Victoria and Valerie. Hi Debbie, I do sell my wreaths here in the store. So here at Ellis, guys, um, we have lots of great designers, not only at this location, but at all of our locations. And so you can definitely um, come in. Uh, shop our designs and if you have something you want us to do custom we do custom work as well so we can take existing um, materials that you bring in and we can add those or um, whatever you want to do we can make a beautiful custom arrangement for you okay so we're gonna start out with this metallic here this one and a half inch metallic I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail the end before we begin okay and on this one I'm not gonna be using pipe cleaners I'm gonna be using the uh, 26 gauge wire and I'm gonna need two pieces for this bow here. So 
So I'm just gonna lay these right here. And as you see, I have a clean working environment. That's something I can't stress enough, guys. It really just aggravates me when I'm working if I don't have a clean working environment. If I've got clutter everywhere, it's hard to determine what I'm doing. So make sure you just have a clean space so you can clear your head, get you some wine, and you'll be good to go for that project. Leslie says her last trip to Olive Garden, they gave her a wine glass with someone else's lipstick on it. Leslie. No, ma'am. I'd have free food for a year. I told you all the time already at Olive Garden. They gave my birthday cake away to somebody else <laughs> that I brought in. Happy birthday. They were singing it at the table over here. And I'm like, uh, girl, that's my cake. Anyway, we don't even go there. Okay. So I'm just going to measure this out to row C, guys. The great thing about this board is that you can use it for your actual measurements. You don't have to have a ruler or a yardstick out or a tape measure. You can actually use the board. Okay. So I'm going to measure that out right there to row C. And of course, this base finger right here, this is like your thumb, okay? This is where you're gonna be pinching and twisting and adding all of your ribbon, okay? So I'm going to gather this together, just like this, just like you would if you were gonna start a hand-tied bow. Then I'm gonna take a piece of my 26 gauge wire, come through and put it right in the middle, okay? And I'm gonna come, uh, excuse me. I'm gonna come to me, just like this, twice. So once around, and I'm gonna do it twice around, just like that. Do it really tight and that's what's gonna hold your ribbon in to start. So this is what it looks like to start, guys. That's really easy, anyone can do it. Again, any questions or comments that you have about this process, we're gonna answer those to the best that we can. Just drop them down below. If I miss some of those, then uh, Dina will definitely uh, let me know, okay? Oh my God, Michelle. Her last trip to Olive Garden, there was a huge ball of grease, covered weave, and my pasta, Alfredo. Mm -hmm. Oh, that just came up. Oh my. God. Girl, I wish I would find some weed. I'd be trying to steal that at Sally's. <laughs> Get my money back. Okay, so once you have this done, guys, you're going to put your, um, where you have your ribbon tied off with the wire, put it right here in the middle, in the base of your base finger. Okay, so you guys can see that. So that's what we're gonna do right there, okay? You know the length of the wire. Uh, tw uh, no, I do not. What do we think that is? It's probably about two foot, 24 inches. Right, Dina? Probably. <laughs> I think so. So then we're gonna twist this up here at the top, guys, just like that. And then the other piece of wire, you're gonna go down here to that nail on the back side. I twist it around twice, and then I stick that remainder, the remaining wire underneath there. Okay? Okay. So now, I'm just gonna get that tail out of the way and stick it right there in the front, okay? So now I'm just gonna use my fingers and go around these things. Use your, your second finger, put it right there at the base, and that is where you're going to um, pinch and twist, okay? Pull that just a little bit more. Right there. Okay. How tight do you pull the ribbon on the Provo? I pull it pretty tight, guys. So if, if you'll come kind of above so I can see, maybe I've got this taped down. Um, you know, you can see it, it's right here. I kind of pull it tight so that everything stays in place. And I'm going to put my finger again right here at the base, rest the ribbon on top of it. I'm going to pinch it, twist it. And I'm actually going to do this four times. I like to do the four loops at the front. So I'm going to go around here four times. Just like that. Go back down and twist it again. Okay? So just like that. So now hold that there and you're gonna get your second piece of wire that I showed you guys right here. Run it on the base of the board. This is what you call your helping wire. Okay? And you're gonna go through and you're gonna tie this off. I usually go on the right side of the dowel. Okay? Twist that off one time, just like that. And then go through here, measure this to row C again, just like we did the other one, and dovetail uh, the end, okay? And then pull that up there and get it out of the way. So we started, guys, we've got four loops so far because we went around um, one L and one R twice, okay? Now, you're gonna leave this wire exposed, one going up, one going down, because that's how you're gonna tie each piece of ribbon that we add, okay? So the next ribbon that I'm gonna add is gonna be this uh, plaid ribbon that I have. It's got a little bit of gold in it. 
So to start off, just dovetail your ends. And this spool holder over here comes in handy because as you can see, it holds all of your ribbon in place. And so it's not rolling all over the floor. So that's a con when I do a hand tie bow is I usually have ribbon wrapped around my ankles and feet. I feel like I've got on some type of stockings, but it's really just ribbon. So when you do uh, a bow with the Pro Bow, everything is really much more organized because you have it right here um, at your fingertips and it's not all over the place. Jackie's on now. Jackie, girl, where have you been? You need to wake up. I uh, told, I gave you a shout out earlier, even though you weren't here and I'm <laughs> injuring myself. And I've got my life together this time before this video. I've been doing hand tied bows and now I'm showing, of course, how to use the Pro Bow for all of those um, customers that would rather have that. So I'm doing pretty good, girl. Okay, so again, we're gonna measure out to row C, guys. Bunch this up just like this. And that's what we use that helper wire for. We're gonna go back. And we're going to tie that off, okay, just like that. Now we're going to go up and go around to our, okay, pull that tail up there, get it out of the way. Go back through, we're going to pinch and twist right here at the base, just like that. Do the wires come with the Pro Bow? They do not, guys. You have to purchase the wire separate. And you can purchase wire uh, mainly anywhere. But I get the pre-cut wire like, you know, I showed you. And I'll show you again in just a second. Use that helper wire again. Tie that off. Okay. Here's the piece of wire I use right here. So you can see it on the table. I use pre-cut wire. That wire that comes rolled up in the circle, that's a freaking nightmare. So I don't use that because it's all bound up like this. I use these straight pre-cut pieces um, when doing... And somebody says they're 16 inches. 16 inches. There you go, guys. 16 inches. Okay. So I'm going to have Dina come up above me and show you guys what we've got so far. Again, any questions or comments, guys, drop those down below. Hi, Donna and Dorothy and Ellen. Hope you're all having a great morning. Okay. So now we've used two of our four ribbons that I have over here. You can definitely use more than that if you want to, but I'm just gonna alternate this and really get this going, okay? So the next- 26 gauge wire? Yes, 26 gauge wire. So the next thing I'm gonna add, guys, I'm gonna go through with another pattern, but it's really sheer and soft. So this one right here, it's kind of a fun plaid, um, and I like it because it almost looks solid when it's rolled up, but actually when you undo it, it's not. So let's dovetail that to begin. Joy, I hope everything's working out for you, you and your uncle. She's missed us. She's had a sick uncle. Uh-oh. What's her name? Joy. Well, Joy, thanks for catching us today. I hope you're having a great day, and I hope you have a great week. Um, it's kind of cloudy. It's not supposed to rain today, is it? Mm -mm. It's cloudy outside here, though. It's the African sand. Oh, yes. Did y'all see that on the news? We're supposed to be getting some sand, so I'm sure I'll have that in my eyes after lunch. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go back with this one, guys. Again, I tied it off on that base finger. Come back around, pinch and twist. Just like that. And you know, use people usually do one on each one. I usually make up my own thing. And I'm gonna go around it twice because I love this sheer plaid ribbon. It adds a little bit of a different texture. So I'm gonna go around those same fingers twice on each side. Does this bow have a name? It does not, guys. Um, I usually, you know, take the Terry bow and then I just add more and more ribbons to mine. And that's the great thing about the Pro Bow is you can definitely go back and add or subtract as many ribbons as uh, you want to. Okay, so go back and I'm gonna trim the end of this. So if you guys have a Pro O and you like it or love it and you use it a lot, give me a thumbs up, guys, and let me know how many of you are using this. Melody, girl, I hear you. Okay, she says you can never have um, so many, too many loops, and I agree. Okay. So, and for real, guys, the more the loops, the fuller the bow is going to turn out. So that's why I really enjoy it and I love it as, as well. Jackie said she's been cleaning, and she's quit cleaning to get her dough in time. Oh, well, girl, I appreciate it. You need to get you one of those. And let me tell y'all, um, you know, when Josh and I move in together in November, um, I've already got therapy ready. But um, besides that, you know, 
I told them we need at least one person to get, or they can all go together. Instead of like a housewarming gift where you, everybody gets you a bunch of crap you don't need, get me a Roomba or Romba, whatever you call those things. You know those those robot vacuums? Because Molly, which is Josh's dog, she um, sheds like crazy and there's hair everywhere. And we're hopefully gonna have dark hardwood floors. And so that blonde hair, she's a blonde lab, it's gonna show up everywhere. So that Roomba really save your life. So Jackie, girl, you need to get you one of them. And that way it'll help your vacuuming. You still have to dust, you know, but. I really do like cleaning, guys. I clean a lot when I go to Josh's. I find it like therapeutic, and I just get in a mode. And you get you some purple Fabuloso, and your whole day it's better. It's just when you smell, you can. If I really don't want to clean, I want Josh to think I did. Hopefully he's not on here. You just pour a little Fabuloso in the toilet and the sink and stuff, and it makes the whole house smell good. And I'm like, girl, I have been up all day cleaning for you, and I really only dumped it in the sink. But it really is my favorite cleaning supply. Why am I telling you all that? I don't know. Could you stop right there? Sure. Oh, for the bow? Yeah. Definitely, guys. If you um, just want a smaller bow or if you don't want so many loops or whatever, you can definitely stop here and you'll, you're going to have, let's see, four, five, six, seven, 14 loops on this bow that we've already done right here um, so far. Okay, so now we're going to take this ribbon here. It's the poinsettia um, with the green leaf. Again, all of the ribbons I've showed you today are available on our website, ellishomeandgarden.com, as well as the pro bow. So make sure you check that out. And guys, Rebecca is working all day long. I'll do another video when it's on there for sure. She's working all day long to upload merchandise, like fall and Halloween merchandise, like plaques and signs and, and scarecrow stuff that you can add to your wreaths or just decor around your home. Um, so as soon as that's up, I'm gonna let you guys know so you can go shopping because it's all on sale, of course, as we begin. And it's really cute stuff because I helped picked it out. Most of it is stuff we picked out at market. So I'm excited for you guys to see that even though me and Katie, you know, uh, had a blast we still did a good job shopping okay Phyllis we do sell the pro bows they are $39.99 yes I'm hoping to have Regina back here um, this fall uh, I cannot wait because you know Christmas is really when everyone uses the pro bow the most because they use it for packages or their tree or whatever so I'm hoping to have her back uh, here as well. Why do you not use the center peg? I am, Arna. But there. I'm guessing that's the one they're talking about. I have no idea. Do you guys usually use the center peg? I don't think I've ever used it on there. I just use, um, excuse me. I just use one, two, three, four, five, six, six on each side. I probably just made that up, but I don't know. You know, never really know. I, have I used that before in my other videos? I don't think I don't so. Know. I don't think I've ever used it, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go back now and I'm gonna tie off this again. That's why this helping wire comes in handy because you can go back and forth and twist and tie it off. Ja is Jackie on here? Jackie, do you use a metal peg? I think you use that, guys, if you want a center loop in your bow. So if you wanna do like, you know how they have bows and they have um, that small center loop in there? That's where you can use that center loop bow, but I don't like that on most of my bows, um, so I don't use it. Are the prices shown online? Are they the discounted prices? Yes, I believe the ribbon bolts, guys, are mainly like six fifty and five dollars because the the two and a half inch is twelve ninety nine, and the one and a half inch is nine ninety nine, and then they're fifty percent off, and that's an everyday savings. Excuse me, a everyday discount or sale that we have, so it's always going to be available to you. Okay, I'm going to go back and add a little bit more of this. Um, one and a half inch down here on row D, 5R, and 5L. Okay. Pinch it off. So did everyone have a good weekend? If you did anything fun, let me know. Uh, I had a very, very relaxing weekend. Josh got to house sent this weekend, and so I uh, laid in the pool all, the, all night Friday night. When I got home Saturday from work, I laid in the pool and um, burned the heck up you see my forehead i mean it looked like look it looks like this ribbon here so um y'all see this so be careful and i applied sunscreen a few times like at least three times but i guess when you're in the water like i said it probably just washes off who knows and i use 70 but oh well let's see hi uh orphy and susan um, Elaine, we don't carry 50-yard bolts of ribbon, just the 10-yard put-ups, okay? So, I, I finally finished Handmaid's, did I tell y'all? If you have not watched Handmaid's Tale on Hulu, make sure you do. It is my newest obsession. I'm just, I can, oh my God. 
So I got my mom watching it last night and I went in there to check on her because she was sobbing and she was crying the whole time, but she said it was so good that she couldn't stop watching. How many yards of ribbon does the average size Debo make, use, sorry? I honestly, guys, do not know that, but I will find out and let you know because I usually just do it and I don't even look at that part. So I'm going over this one twice because I really want this bow to be super full. Okay. And make sure you get that right there on the back where it's going to come up. You don't use anything but wired ribbon, do you? Yeah, just wired ribbon, guys, because if you don't, then it's going to be floppy and it's not going to uh, stand up the way that you need it to. Okay. Okay, so we're almost done with this one. I'm gonna go back to finish this off and I'm gonna put a little bit more of that plaid that we used at the beginning down here on row D on 6L and 6R. Jackie says average Terry bow takes 6.33 yards of ribbon. There you go guys, that is how many yards it usually takes. And if you're using different ribbons, you're still gonna have basically a whole bolt left. Like you see, I just started these. You can see over here on my, where my hand is. Um, there's still a lot of ribbon left on there. And we have this beautiful bow that we're creating right here as well. Okay. So this is the last one that we're putting on there. And then we're gonna fluff this bad boy out and go from there, okay? And again, leave one of your helping wires up and one down, so it just creates a great place for you to come in here, pinch it off, and continue, okay? And I'm just gonna put one of those loops on the back side, okay? So I'm gonna go back now and pinch this off. Everyone's asking about the little red truck. Oh my God, yeah. As soon as we get done, Jackie, you're gonna freaking freak out. Um, that was too many freakings. Anyway, I'm going to take you out here and show you some of the new merchandise we have. None of this, just before we go, guys, none of this is going to be online yet. It just came in the door, but I want to give you a sneak peek. And it is available in store, though. So if you are around Longview, if you're coming, come by, see me, check me out, give me a hug, check them out, the rat, or the, um, the elves and the deer. So cute. Can you uh, purchase longer pre-cut wire? You probably can, guys. Here at Ellis, we just sell a 16-inch um, wire. Okay. So we've got this done. So this is what it looks like. And a minute ago, I'm going to have Dina come over the top of this and show y'all. A minute ago, when I was doing it in my hand, this is basically what you get. But see, the great thing about the Provo, everything is pre-measured. It's always perfect. And so um, that's a great... Uh, pro that you have with the Provo that you don't with uh, hand tie bows. That's a con that you have with the hand tie bows. So, let me see here. Um, now, to finish this off, guys, take that wire we started at the beginning. You're going to unravel it just like this. Okay? And also, the wire here at the bottom, unravel that one. And then you're going to tie this off as tight as you can. Okay? This is what's going to help keep your bow together okay so now remove that center dowel the base finger and then your bow will just slide off of the dowels and then you have your bow so see when I was doing this in my hand like this this is basically what I got um, but now every single one of these is perfectly measured as you can see your tails are out here perfect so you're all good okay so remove, remove this I usually take mine down, guys, because I'm kind of rough and I have stuff lying everywhere. Now I'm going to get my fluff box over here. And we're going to attach the bow to the fluff box and fluff it out. And then we're going to go on our little tour, okay? So, here we have this right here. So now, this is the easy and the fun part, guys. Usually, a lot of people, a lot of customers that have came in here spend more time fluffing than they do actually making the bow. And a customer asked earlier, you know, how fast you can make them on here. Um, if you're, if you're, no one's in here talking to you, like I'm giving you guys an explanation of the directions. If you're just doing it by yourself, you can whip these out in no time. Okay? So, I start at the top. You can actually start at the bottom if you want, but I, even when I do my hand, I start at the top fluffing. And I usually just take them and I separate everything. And then I'll go back and fluff them up just a little bit. 
Okay. Becca, are you talking about the Probo or the Fluff Box? So I go on each side and actually pull this around and fluff everything out. You know, alternate your tails and your loops of your ribbon. And they're flat right now because I'm just pulling them out, but I'm gonna go back and I'm going to um, give every one of these loops some life, if you will. Okay, so now that you have the loops pulled apart where you want them, what I do is I go back and I actually start here at the bottom and I fluff them up like this. Each one of them you want it to raise up like your bow is alive and you don't want it to look dead. Okay, like my skin on my forehead after I burned it up. So go back and fluff these up. Really get it into your hands and shape every one. Especially when you use sheer ribbon, guys. You want to make sure you go in there and you fluff it the best that you can. Even with your tails, you can pull them up, you can fluff them around like this. Jackie says, don't tempt me, you're a fast seven hour drive. <laughs> She'll be down here uh, tonight. She's like, where are you at? I'm in the store. Okay. So to take this off, guys, you just untwist it. Slide her off. And now we have our bow that we made on the Pro Bow, guys. So that's simple. So some other examples I'm gonna show you here. I've already done. So here's some other examples of, of usage of the Pro Bow, guys, and the great outcome and the great turnout that you get from using that product. You can actually take one of these bows and plop it on a wreath just like this up here. You know, I use the fall one, so take your wreath, pop your bow on there, and then go from there using your foliage to add all of this as well. So before we do our tour of the store, guys, I'm gonna show you one more time up close how to locate everything on the website. The fluff box is Regina, because somebody's asking why we don't sell the fluff box too. Regina just sells those herself, guys. That's not something we can carry. Okay, so to locate our products again, can you see that? Um, you go up here to ellishummingarden.com, you go to shop by department. Everything is under categories, so you go down here to seasonal, Christmas, and then, ooh, I usually have a mouse on here. Seasonal, Christmas, no, seasonal, ribbon, I mean, ribbon, oh my god. Seasonal ribbon, and then we have Christmas ribbon, fall ribbon, Halloween ribbon. You can click on that, guys. And it's going to take you right to the selection. And there's four plus pages full of ribbon. Okay. Oh my God, this freaking mouse. Okay, so anyway, you see all the different kinds of ribbon here, two and a half inches. And there's four pages full that you can choose from. And you'll recognize some that we used in today's video as well. Okay, guys, let's go on a tour of the store. I'm going to, oh my God, I got ripping around my ankles. Um, <laughs> I'm uh, going to, uh, y'all want to see something crazy? Just, I'm going to have Dina stand right there. Let me go get her. Morticia is over here, guys. She's had a rough weekend. You know, y'all haven't seen her uh, in a while, but she's, st ooh, she's still here. She's still trying to show them things, girl. Anyway, um, but she's, she's okay. I just want to let you guys have an update on her. Um, she's going to get a makeover soon, and she's going to be back in black in no time. Oh, production. We can't be poor. We can't help. Okay. Let's go. Nancy, we don't ship to Canada yet. We are talking about it, but not yet. Okay, guys. Let's go check out all these new products, okay? And the, the speaker's over here for the music, so I'm sorry. There's going to be a little music in the background. Might bust a move. You never know. We're I'm gonna... sorry. There's going to be a little bit of movement. movement. Yeah. So let's go out here and check all this stuff out. And again, we're just in the beginning stages of getting our Christmas decor. So, um, but we got a lot in over the weekend. I'm gonna take that pole. <laughs> so y'all come look. So 
So one of our new looks that we're gonna have this year is a cowboy look. So one of the great items are these chili peppers. These are fun. We haven't had these in a long time. And look at these ornaments here. They're like denim, so it's like jeans, but they have some pockets on them. So this is fun and great to use as well. And anyone else who is from Texas, they're needing a souvenir. We have these new stockings we got this year that are actually Texas boots. And look, 40% off already. So this right here is $19.99 and 40 off. So $12. For a great stocking okay let's keep now i'm about to have a, a moment this is my favorite look so far guys i have been begging for this for years and this is just a little bit and excuse the mess guys because we are in transition look at all of this stuff i've been dying for them to get snowmen and peppermints with that blue turquoise color mixed in so you see all the the snowmen so look how freaking cute these are has a little joy in its hand oh i just love it anyway i need some snow up in here so we got that we have these little, um, what are these, mouse, rat, something? <laughs> it's the Christmas mouse. Yeah, I love these. I feel like, you know, these are cute, guys. So these are $29.99 and $40 off. All the decor, Christmas decor is 40% off every day. So you're always going to have savings every time you come in here. So these are new. We also have uh, these here. What do you call this? An elf? Yeah. Super cute. Look at him. He got no eyes. Anyway. I love this color. Do you guys like this color? If you do, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Wait till y'all see the ornament selection for this room. It's really cute. Come right here. I like the nutcrackers. Yeah. So we're getting in new ornaments. Look at these right here. These nutcrackers are super cute. So they're kind of ceramic at the bottom, and then they have the top, and these match all of that stuff over there. So look at Jackie these. says it's a gnome. A gnome, garden gnome. I couldn't remember what the name was. Look at these guys. These are great selection. Also, these are ornaments. They say hello winter. They got the blue option and the red option. And these are fun too, aren't they? And look at these guys. These are pretty. They have like snow over the top of them. So as we continue to get that in, we're going to be uploading those items to our website and showing you all of that product. Look, here's some more in the blue and white. Look at these pillows. We even have pillows that you can put on your couch or in your house or on your furniture to match that look. These super cute snowman heads. And look, Jackie, these kind of resemble Raz. They've got the bow tie on them. And I love these. Uh, and look at the little pom-poms. It's all in the detail. Look at the deer. They match. We've got the blue scarf on them. And we have the red scarf option also. I think those are kind of cute too. Yeah, I think these light up. You have to put batteries in them, guys, but <coughs> they illuminate and they do different colors. Okay, are y'all ready to see something you're gonna die over? We've got lots of great um, new farmhouse decor coming in, and you know that buffalo plaid is gonna be our most popular this year, I feel. So look at these panels. So these are super cute here. 29 also, and then 40% off, so it's really a great price. These are great shelf sitters. They're great to put on your mantle. Love them, so these are cool. Tree looks like a fluorescent blue on the camera. Oh, really? Then we have these also, these deer guys that come in the buffalo plaid and the regular. So those are fun. Let me move this. Look at these guys. Stockings. So freaking cute. And they got the, the snowman heads that match also. And look at these little reindeer. Aren't they cute? She's like, hey girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, these are so cute. They'd be cute sitting in a wreath. You know, I get bored out here, guys, sometimes, and I just start talking to things. So, you know, she's here with all her friends. And look, are these different? They are. Different outfits. Aw. Anyway, they're really cute. And so, these would be cute, again, shelf sitters or in the tree. Okay? Lisa, they're not on the website yet. No, all of this stuff is just coming in store, but I wanted to take a minute and show you. Okay, let's go up here and check out uh, some elves and some peppermints. Y'all come this way. Jackie says she needs the buffalo plaid snowman. Girl, you just wait. It's just now coming in, and we're going to have this whole middle area of the store. If you've never um, been to our store in Longview, guys, the whole middle section transforms into Christmas. So we're starting, working like crazy around the clock to get it done. So I can't wait for you guys to see all the great product that we have coming in. So come check out these. So you guys were asking about the red trucks. These red trucks came in the other day. It's one of my favorites. They're not online yet again. This stuff just started coming in. So we got some elf selections. Aren't these cute? Hey. Anyway, um, you know, oh, let's see what's going on. 
So the other thing, <laughs> we have the standing up ones and the shelf sitters. Look at some of these ornaments, guys. Oh, just show them those. Look at these snowmen also. These are cute. And also these here. Oh, scared me. It was, these, it was stands and squishes up and down. Yeah, so look guys, you can have it shorter or you can make it taller. Also. So it's got like the prosthetics on or something. So let's see how much this is. This is 79 and then 40% off. So you can have it tall or you can have it short. Also. So that's a great option. Teresa, we're at the laundry store. Yes, and here's some more of these heads and the elf heads, guys. And look at these ornaments here. We have these Santas. These are ceramic, actually, so they're great. They're fun to incorporate in your tree or your decor. And I love these little gingerbread. They're glittery and fun. Yes, and um, some cute stuff this year. suckers, honey, are y'all hungry? We've got suckers up in here. These are great to stick in the top of your tree for a tree topper or an arrangement. You can make an easy arrangement by putting a bow, actually, that we just made. And you can put two of these, the red and the green, and just like that. And then you can have an easy arrangement with adding a few picks and sprays. And we this have, will be at the Walmart store also, correct? Yes, and guys, let's go look at the picks and sprays. We have got um, picks and stems coming in every day and we just have a few so far but i'm going to show you guys uh back here oh i haven't seen those tree ones oh my god those are so cute i like those yeah look at these guys those are new i hadn't even seen those so okay and somebody says don't forget that most of this can go in wreaths yes you can put a lot of this in wreaths guys so let's go back here and look at the picks and stems that's one of our largest categories that we have here at ellis and we put it uh, we put, you know, picks and stems and florals into every design for Christmas. So Nancy, let me show do we have flock garland? We do. Let me show you. We'll go to the garland in just a minute. Let's check out these sprays over here. So we're so just starting. Oh my God, I haven't seen these. My birthday is in January. Look how cute these are, guys. I didn't see those the other day. I haven't seen these either. Jackie, wouldn't these be cute and Reese? So these are fun. And look, all these picks and sprays here, you can see we're starting to get them in. They're great to incorporate into wreaths and designs. I love Carmen, these. The, the, the whole middle of the store is decorated for Christmas. I love these because they fan out. And this is a great um, filler for any uh, wreath or arrangement or garland. Anything you want to use, I would use this in there as well. Decorate the rooms with the trees and... Mm -hmm. We also have um, flock picks, guys. Last year, you'll notice I used this as a number one item. I used it on top of the Sissel gift packages to really dress it up and make it fun. So these are great. These flock sprays, they're um, $3.99 and 40 off. The spiral ones. Yeah. Hey, girl. I like the new hair. <laughs> Whatever. They're $7.99 and then they're 40% um, off. So, Jackie, wait just a little bit. As soon as we get all these aisles full, I'm going to do another video and I'll show you all the stuff that we're getting in. But um, wait to come then when it's all decorated because you're just going to go nuts. Break the, break the bank, girl. Linda, we have four stores. Texarkana, Bossier, Louisiana, Beaumont, and us. Yes. All right, guys. Well, that's about it. I was just going to give you a little preview you? of the garland real quick. We've got garland coming in. Um, this is just the, the bare minimum because, you know, each time that we get a truck, we get more and more in, and we'll have all of these aisles full uh, before we know it, and there'll be a great selection. We've got those wreaths, too. Yeah, we've got wreaths starting to come in. So this whole aisle is going to be uh, wreaths, okay? So where all the cushions are, if you've been in our store before, all the cushions we'll take down, and it'll all be... Um, foliage for Christmas. So we'll have pine wreaths, we'll have pine cones, everything. So this whole aisle is those. Jackie says she's got her debit card ready. Oh God, you're going to dig out the American Express. And we've got garland, okay, it's coming in too. Someone asked about flock garland. We have it. Of course, this didn't fluff out, but $29.99, 40% off. So it's a really great affordable price. Well, and this one is $39, I think. Yeah, this one's 39. This is a nine-footer. That one I just showed you was a six-footer. So. Pamela, we're in Longview, Texas. 
All right, guys, well, I hope that excites you and gets you ready for all the new um, fun Christmas items that are coming in. We've got three or four pallets of fall in the bag on Halloween, so I can't wait to get that unloaded, priced it out on the floor for you guys. Um, and don't forget to check us out on our website, ellishomelandgarden.com. All the ribbon, the pro bow that we use today is available on there for purchase, not just Christmas, but we have Halloween, fall, every selection that you need, really, and mesh, work forms, everything. And as soon as we get more product uploaded, I'm gonna pop on here even if it's for two minutes and do a quick video update, give you guys um, an insight on what's gonna happen online so that way you'll be the first one to go purchase it. All right guys, well, everyone have a fabulous day and a fabulous week and I will see you probably later on in a few days because I'm excited about all this stuff so I'm not gonna be able to stop uh, sharing with you. So anyway, guys, send us messages too if you have any questions or comments about something. Feel free to drop us a, um, a question in the direct messenger and I'll go back and check this out. All right, guys, everyone have a good day. Bye.